Hey there, my name's Fangs, and in this video I was supposed to be surviving day two in Project Zomboid, but instead I found out that the water turned off on day one, and I set off a house alarm which triggered all the zombies in the entire city to come to my location, so I ended up fleeing for my life and barely made it out alive, if I did. Uh, well, the stove was left on, I'm glad we didn't burn this house down, that would have been really unlucky, but uh, let's go ahead and uh, start cooking up this fresh chicken. We'll go ahead and even just speed up time because we're just going to wait. And um, after we get this all cooked, we're going to go ahead and grab all of this. Now put in our inventory here. And uh, now we have fresh cooked chicken. So now we can eat this, eat all of it. That'll get our hunger situated and we'll get a drink of water. So what we have to do today is decide what we're doing. Um, I think the big priority I'd like to focus on today is finding a water container as well as a saw. So we're going to have to do a little bit of exploring. Um, let's go ahead and wash. Wait, I can't, I can't wash all my clothing apparently, but let's go ahead and just uh, wash my body real quick. And then, wait, the water's off. I think the water's already off. So um, this poses a really interesting issue. The water may already be turned off. It's definitely off in our house that we built our base in. Um, let's go ahead and check this house and see what's going on. Uh, the water is definitely off. So that is, that is not good. Yeah, the water is 100% off, I think. I have never actually survived long enough to see the water turn off. So this is a big deal. Um, we need to find water containers and, well, it's, it's too late. We, yeah, actually, normally a good practice is kind of fill a bunch of water containers before the water turns off, but the water's already turned off, so we would have to transport water from houses to a location, which is going to be very troublesome unless we can find a, like, cooking pot and stuff like that to carry stuff. Um, so, we definitely need to find that water bottle, and, uh, we also need to get some cigarettes, because we are agitated. But yeah, I guess we're gonna, we're just gonna get into this stuff. Okay, so there is a vehicle here with two zombies, so I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, try and draw the attention of one of them. Yeah, here we go, and then we're gonna kill him and check this car out, because, uh, it's probably gonna be an important thing to get a working car so we can get water quicker. Okay, the trunk was unlocked, so... But the driver's seat's locked. Well, that's unlucky. All right, let's uh, check the house out before we go ahead and just uh, break the windows out. Shut that window behind us. Please tell me that's a pot of water. It is. Okay. So we've got a little bit of water stored here, which is good. Um, let's check the durability on my rolling... Okay, we're fine there. Orange soda, that's actually good. That gives us a water bottle as well, so I am going to go ahead and drink one of these. Um, then we'll fill it here at the sink. But we're going to run into trouble of actually needing to... Um, we're going to need water very quickly. So I'm not sure how to go about this. So pretty much all sinks and water sources have a um, finite amount of water that's random between like 1 and 20 on sinks. And when the water shuts off, those stop refilling. So you have to be able to um, either have a generator, I think, to run more water, or you have to be running a water catcher and all of this stuff, which we need four trash bags for, a certain level of carpentry, and a bunch of stuff that we are not equipped for at the moment. So pretty much our only option is going to be um, smashing this front right window, getting into the car, Switching seats to the driver's seat. And there is no key, unfortunately. And there is no key in the glove box either, unfortunately. So, on our way. Okay, go ahead and finish these guys off. Check them for cigarettes because I do need cigarettes badly. And there is a barn over here, or like a shed. Oh, got another, uh, got another smart guy here. And we're gonna hopefully get a saw here. Oh, it is unlocked. Good, please. Uh, nope, but there are some good tools there. I will go ahead and take these. Um, but unfortunately, 
there is still no a condition. All those are pretty low as well. We really need a saw. We got the water bottle, so that um, orange soda bottle will work good as a water bottle. Um, we're going to need to figure out a method of transporting water to the safe houses, though. Um, so mainly large cooking pots filled with water and taken back. Um, but it would be in our best interest to locate a car, probably. But we also need to uh, secure up the safe house if we're going to stay there. All right, we did get some matches from right here, so that's big for if we can find any cigarettes. Um, let's check these bodies real quick for a car key. Um, we might be able to get lucky and get a key for one of these cars here, maybe. Would be really lucky. Cigarettes, there we go. That's actually, that's gonna help a lot right now because we have been needing to smoke for our anxiety. So we'll just go ahead and fast forward time real quick. There we go, anxiety's gone. This car is totaled. Let's check the trunk, nothing. Um, we're gonna have to just continue on. This guy's gonna jump the fence, so this is a free kill. We might as well take it. There we go. And, uh, oh, that car actually looks like it's in really good condition as well as that one. Oh, but we do have a horde up there, so let's try and pull one at a time and kill them one at a time very easily and uh, not get overwhelmed. Hmm, that one has something on their back. I can't tell what it is. Looks like a, that looks like a ax. That could be really good, actually. I wish I could have hit her when she was on the ground there. I, I can't, sometimes the attacks in this game are very, very awkward. Oh, it's a stone ax. Okay, we're gonna equip that in both hands though, um, cause that just sounds like it would be better in the first place. And we're gonna utilize this stone ax to do some clearing here. That is a police zombie. So is that a bulletproof vest? Sir, may I uh, may I bargain with you for your vest? You die and I get a vest. Yes, it is. We're gonna go ahead and equip that on and also equip the holster. And there we go. And let's check out this car. I know there were zombies on the backside, but hopefully we can just, you know, Hop on in the car. Oh, we can. No key. Uh, key in the glove box. No, but there are some bandages. We'll take those. Nothing on the seats either. Um, let's go ahead and unlock the trunk. Come back here and check it out. Empty. Now, this could be alarmed, but we are safe. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab the kettle because that is a water source. Uh, just heard the zombie break in somewhere over there. I'm not interested. Let's check that car across the street. Kind of hoping for some good luck on a car right now. Let's go ahead and hop inside this house and uh, see what we got going on in here. I'm going to go ahead and grab this food just because we're going to need it. I don't think the water would actually be a big deal if it happened at a later time because um, generally by the time the water turns off, I feel like you can stockpile over a month's worth of water and in a month you can take the time to get everything crafted that you're gonna need um, and kind of be ready to prevail when you don't have water stored anymore. But having it off from day one is going to be a very interesting problem that probably will kill me. I didn't pay attention to what I was doing and I just got a horde on me. All right, we'll go ahead and vault this fence and go around the house here. So we're just gonna casually walk, get up to this house take a tight corner and then run around it. And we're gonna also jump over this. And we should have in theory lost them all. Yeah, they're on the house now, so we're good. Let's try and quietly vault this, nice. Well, this is uh, extremely unlucky. Time to uh, get away from here as fast as we can. My, uh, my current plan is we're just gonna walk off into the forest, honestly. Yeah, every zombie in the entire map is going to be limping its way towards that alarm for like 100 meters. So uh, our best method of staying alive is just going to be avoid it. There's always a house alarm at the worst possible time, but it doesn't really matter. We're just going to continue on. Trash bags are going to be big because we'll need them for making water catchers, but not going to be able to do that for a while probably. Trunks open on this car. Let's go ahead and just... We'll break this window, because why not? 
crawl on in, check out the glove box. Got nothing, uh, no key, anything like that, so that's unlucky. Um, yeah, nothing good. We desperately need to locate a saw right now. And our weapon broke, but that doesn't matter because we are built to survive. Okay, we've got a decent sized horde over there. Uh, two decent sized hordes over there. And we've got another decent sized horde over there. Lots and lots of hordes. Yep, more hordes. And uh, probably walking towards a horde here. But we're just going to pretend we don't see any of it. Go ahead and... Uh-oh. I'm not sure how she was able to stand up, but uh, that's unfortunate. Let's go ahead and just keep shoving her. There we go. And uh, now we finish them all off. There we go. And everything is back to being fine. We escaped a near death. This would have been an okay house, actually. Um... Besides being a single f uh, story floor. Let's check the map for a second because I have no idea what I'm looking at. So we have a big warehouse there. Okay, so that above us is actually the storage unit area, I believe. Looks correct. Um, that's probably a pretty secure area, honestly. This cabin. Um, let's go ahead and move the dead bodies out of it, maybe. Because this might be a safe house for now. I don't know if zombies are attracted to dead zombies, but uh, if they are... Well, all to them, I guess. Let's go ahead and flip the oven on. And we're going to go ahead and throw the dead mouse and the shrimp and the meat patty in there. And we're going to go ahead and carry another corpse out. And uh, then we'll come back in and hopefully have some food cooked. Or the house burned down. One of the two. All right. So we... Uh, oh, the dead mouse is still very unhappy, but it is food. So uh, we'll hold on to that for now. The patty will be cooked by the time I get this corpse out and back in, so we're going to go ahead and take it out. Now, all the blood on the floor shouldn't be a big deal. should be just fine. This is almost cooked here, so we'll go ahead and take it out, drop it in our inventory, turn the stove off, and we're going to go ahead and eat it, because why not? Nice big meat patty for our dinner. Let's go ahead and check out what we got going on. So we got some zombies there. I like the idea of the storage unit area. It's fairly secure. Um, we don't have a saw or a weapon yet. So that's one of our big... Like, we don't have a good weapon. And we don't have a saw. We don't have much going for us right now. Um, everything is looking fairly grim. So I want to try and pull one or two of these zombies at a time. Clear this horde out and kind of get into the storage lot. So we can figure out if this is a base or not. There we go. I don't know why they're all like jumping the fence and going that way, but I tried whispering and we got one of them. Now we'll quietly dispatch this guy. The forces of evil. Let's try and get her. Yeah, come on. You know, you want some of this fresh meat on the ground. Smack and dispatched. All right. I should have uh, should have got up here to kill him when he climbed over, but it'll be fine. Get him on the ground. Give him a whack. Give him a whack. He's down. She'll jump the fence, give her a shove, and a step, and a step. There we go. All right, Riverside map, screwdriver. Let's go ahead and vault this fence. And um, we got one zombie over there. Let's go ahead and see. I don't know if we can get into this place or not, because I'm assuming it's going to be locked. Yeah, of course it's going to be locked. Empty bucket. Well, let's go ahead and just, you know, eat that on the ground. So there's probably no way into the storage unit because we're going to have to go through the door. There's definitely zombies inside of it. Ooh, we got an entire horde over there. Let's be quiet. <laughs> Let's be very, very quiet. Come on, get in. There we go. All right, now quietly close it. And we loot. Nothing. We have a refrigerator. Okay. Go ahead and throw some of my food in here. Um, just because I don't need to carry all of it. We do have a microwave, which is good until the power goes out, which the way this is going probably will go out in like 10 minutes. Um, let's go ahead and check over here. Okay, just the bathroom. So we're not going to be getting very lucky, I guess. Yeah, unfortunately, um, doesn't look like we're going to be obtaining a key into this place can't get into there either let's go ahead and give a peek around this corner here 
Okay, we got a horde and another door. I'm not gonna go that way. So let's go ahead and just get out of here. Okay, so it's almost 8.30 p.m. and we have made absolutely no progress today. And um, that could be a bad thing. We are also drowsy, um, so we definitely need to take a nap, but, oh, and there are a lot of zombies here, but I'd like to try and get to the warehouse that's on the other side of this trailer park here. Um, so we're gonna just try to, we're gonna try and, you know, sneak around here. There also is a car up there, which could be useful. Let's go ahead and dispatch these two zombies, maybe. We'll try and get this done. Hopefully, uh, rather quietly, so we don't have to fight a horde. Check around for anyone else. Nope, good. All right, let's tiptoe up the road here. And, uh, okay, we've got a little bit of a horde here. But right on the other side of this is where we want to go. Okay, actually, let's do it this way. We're going to do a little bit of corralling. So this is not for the faint of heart, but uh, yeah, hopefully we can, uh, we can organize a little bit of a corral here and get rid of these zombies effectively. We're going to try and like get them down here and corral here in the road so that way we can get a good pile and then just pull them this way probably. We are tired, so we do need to be aware of that and uh, take careful consideration of how this is going to go. This would have been a good time to take some beta blockers probably and, uh, you know, some other stuff, but um, hopefully I can do this without being eaten. We have plenty of open space, so to not be able to do this would be fairly silly. And basically, your goal is to just keep walking in a circle until you have a very nice and big, steady circle of zombies. And then upon having that, you want to lead them off around a building or through the woods or in a safe area that is not going to get you killed. Let's go ahead and do one more loop to pick up these uh, loose fellas here. And we need to do a little bit of a sprint there just to outrun them because we do not want grabbed. Getting grabbed here is a death sentence. All right, we seem to have the horde pretty much corralled. Let's go ahead and walk them this way. I'm just going to crouch for a minute to kind of let them uh, keep shambling with me because uh, we don't want to lose that many going this way. All right, so now that we're over here, we're gonna go ahead and select walk to. We're gonna tell the character to walk and we're gonna speed up time slightly if we can't. Uh, I don't know why the autopath wanted to go back that way, but that would have got us killed. Apparently these trees are too thick to autopath through. I'm not sure why the game is struggling to get me through them, but we'll get through this. And there we go. That should be all of them gone. Never mind, there's an entire horde there still. Okay, we should be able to lose any of the remainders around this building here. So we'll go ahead and vault this fence and just kind of cut around here. Um, including the zombie inside shouldn't be tracking us. And we will go ahead and dispatch this zombie here since he's on the outside. There we go. And now we're good to go. We're just going to go ahead and cut across this way. And here we go. We are at the warehouse. So let's go ahead and I think we're going to go over to the first story building here for now. Um, hopefully we can just get inside and get a little nap in. And then we're on day three and we can start securing up this place. Okay. We're inside. We got a little bit of a warehouse here and, um, I'm sure there's probably got to be a saw here, but let's go ahead and, uh, see if we can find a little break room that's kind of secure. Um, we are exerted. We're thirsty. This water cooler should have, yeah tons of water in it. So we'll go ahead and take a drink and fill our orange bottle. And um, then let's try to maybe inside of here is a secure spot. Oh, nope. This is just the warehouse. Well, uh, I guess we're just going to have to uh, 
actually, what we can do is we can grab this chair. And this could be a death sentence, of course, but we'll see. We're going to go into the bathroom. We're going to place the chair down in the bathroom. And we're going to go ahead and sleep. All right, there we go. And it is 7.40 a.m., so we are basically on to the third day now. But let's quickly go ahead and take a look and see if we have a saw anywhere in this warehouse. We do. There we go. We have a garden saw. So we managed to check off the thing on our list that we wanted to get today. We got a water bottle and a saw um, so we can barricade bases up and build. Now, the original plan was to go back and secure the original house, but I think this warehouse is probably a much better position to build a base in, especially the one across the parking lot over there, because it's got a second floor. And um, yeah, I think this is just gonna be much better. And with that, you've heard the story of how I survived day two in Project Zomboid. Thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Please be sure to take care.